a kid, I used to live out by a lake With lightning bolts, collecting sticks and secret handshakes I was invincible then My heart's so pure I had no fear And those were the years <laughs> You climbing, baby That I hold so dear Man of the hour. Hey, how we doing? Pretty good, how are you? Good. We were uh, completely out of coffee this morning, and so Brandon, being the savior that he is, I asked him to stop and get us a couple of coffees on the way so that Allie and I can make it at least through lunch. And like always, he pulled through. Seriously, Brandon, thank you. Oh, no problem. Amazing. <laughs> I stopped there anyway, so it wasn't any trouble. Good. We did have a package that got delivered, and I'm opening it for the first time right now. Yeah, you want to be included too, huh? Yeah. Anyway, we're having uh, some hats and some shirts made for Mountain Made Vans, and this is basically the first of the packages. I believe this is the hats. Ooh. <gasps> Bam. Wow. Look at that. It actually turned out really nice. Put it on, let's see. So small. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, nice. We haven't ordered enough to like sell as merchandise yet. We just got a couple samples for us to try out, to give to our partners, to let Matt and Bryce kind of see how they like them and what they think. Eventually we're gonna have like real merch made that will be for sale. But for now, this is a, just a very exciting Christmas present for the team. I'm really, really glad we got these hats delivered. I'm just excited to be able to give like the people at Mountain Made Vans clothes that we can wear that represent the brand. So if we go to places, we can like, you know, wear a shirt and a hat and it's just exciting. Yeah, I'm uh, a little conflicted about that swoosh. It's a really nice quality hat. It's like the Nike dry fit hat and it's fitted, but I don't love the extra branding on the side. So we'll see what Matt and Bryce and all of them think. In the meantime, I'm gonna wear it, maybe it'll grow on me. I do really like the design on the front and I think that the hat is very comfortable, so. Exciting, we have some uh, branding for Mountain Made Vance, pretty cool. Hey, are you supposed to be eating that? Does it taste good? Leo, that's the handle for the freezer. Maybe, okay, maybe don't eat it. Brandon and Trent are getting things set up today. We uh, almost, I think, mostly finished sheathing the roof, and now they have to cut and trim everything, like make some finishing touches, and then tape all of the seams. Big day ahead of us, Leo. Ready to get to work? You're just enjoying your view with your morning coffee? Yeah, I'm just dreading getting to work. <laughs> it's a nice but view though. It is a nice view, it's, it's incredible up here. The recent forecast has been that it's supposed to rain all day today, and I think the most updated forecast is that it's like maybe some scattered showers, maybe later in the afternoon, which means it might not rain at all. So we're gonna just hope for that. We have a business call at 11 which is in an hour and 10 minutes. And then uh, I think it's supposed to start raining at noon. Oh, really? So, probably won't get anything done today. Okay. But we got coffee. It's just a little bit of a uh, venting you have open still. It would be really nice if it was hot, but it's actually a little brisk up here. Yeah. And basically we just have Three full sheets and then a half a sheet. They all have to be ripped, but those three and a half pieces, once we get them nailed down, both sides are fully sheathed. And then we basically just have to repel off of one side of the roof because there's not going to be anywhere to stand. Ugh. Make sure all the nails are hammered in and then get all of our tape on. And then when it rains, it'll actually stay dry inside. Yeah, that's cool. At least in the center. Yeah. Until we get the walls on, you know. Yeah. We're gonna have problems.
It is really crazy now that we've started actually building the garage to see the garage next to the house and how big it really is. It seriously looks like a second house or like the real garage mahal, like absolutely enormous. And we were just talking last night about how, oh, you know, eventually we're gonna need to figure out some other solution for Leo because right now he's sleeping in our bedroom and I really don't want him to be sleeping in the basement. I feel like that's too far away. Long story short, we have a lot more building to do after the garage. <laughs> taping the ridge like while I'm here and I can just kind of shimmy across and tape it and then we're gonna throw a rope over the top of the house and just destroy this tape while I tape the rest of the roof I should do this last sometimes I'm not the smartest guy quite the technique you got there yeah. I don't want to say here no ain't gonna keep it low now if you want to go let's go let's wrap it up all right well we've got all the panels up except for this one piece right here now the issue is i need a harness and a rope so that i can get on the roof to put this last piece on nail it down tape these couple seams and then I'm just gonna tape the whole other side of this roof. You can see, don't look at our ridge, <laughs> our ridge, because it's not the straightest thing in town. But the good thing is that a metal roof has a big ridge cap that will cover any little discrepancies or imperfections that are up here. And to be honest, both roofs kind of planed out a lot better than I thought they were going to. So Things are actually looking up. It's looking pretty good. I got to finish nailing off this third panel that goes up here, put some tape on the ridge, and then we have this one piece over here that has to be put on, but I'm not going to do that until I have a rope and a harness because I have to get out on the roof, put this panel on, and then I have to rappel off the other side. And then when it rains, it will most likely be pretty dry inside. I thought you were going to say when it's raining is when you're going to be up on the roof. You know, that is a pretty common occurrence. We haven't really worked in the rain at all this year, except for every time we've been on the roof or doing trusses, it has rained. So probably jinxing us right now. It's almost 11. We've got to go jump on a business call. We'll be back in a few. Business call, success. Leo's first nap of the day, success. Clean diaper change, very good. Now we are uh, moving into the most terrifying part of today's events, rappelling off the roof and tying off to the truck. No, you're gonna hit it. You are tight. Okay. Stop! We do not have enough space for any of this, but the truck will uh, weigh enough to hold Trent, so. He's got it in as good a spot as possible. And hopefully this works. That might work. This is my least favorite part of every build. All right, so I'm gonna put a harness on and then trust this old dusty rope to not break. But the good news is if the rope breaks and I fall over there, it's really muddy. So let's not talk about I that. I might just sink stick into the mud real good instead of splatting. It's not funny. It's not, but it is. Way safer than without a rope. Yeah, it's safer than without a rope, but let's, you know, just be super careful, double check everything. Party, partner system, right? On belay. For those of you who don't know, Trent is a very experienced rock climber and belayer, and he is very comfortable rappelling off of things. He's done this many, many, many times before, even off the roof of our own house. But it's still scary every time. Especially for your wife to be watching you. So we're gonna make sure everything is super safe. Um, I'm mostly worried about the, the rope fraying on the sharp edge of the roof. Do you have a pad to put under the rope? No, but the rope's not gonna be fraying. Maybe take this doormat. Like literally anything. Take this doormat and put it on the roof. Put the rope over it. Yeah, I don't think it needs it. It would make it'll me be feel a, better. It'll be okay. Sweet 
setup you got going here. Oh yeah. You, Sweetest. You excited? Yeah, it's no big deal. All right, we are ready to go. I've got my rig here. I've got two rolls of tape. I've got the roller, I've got the hammer. I've got to climb up there finish pounding all the nails in that aren't fully driven in, put the tape on all the seams, roll all the tape, all while attached to this rope and standing on a 10-12 roof. Got my tennis shoes on, so I have some nice grip that's a little bit better than my big heavy boots. And uh, here goes nothing. Here we go. Hopefully I remember to tie into the right side of the rope. <sighs> Not funny? I thought it was pretty funny. All right. There we go. This is terrifying. The owl is doing nothing. I have to go pump and honestly I hate being out here while this is happening so when I come back hopefully Trent will have lots of progress and uh, maybe even be done we'll see how long this actually takes in the meantime he is being super safe I have full confidence in him I'm gonna take Leo inside and uh, we'll check back in a minute you're the safety supervisor I'm the safety supervisor yeah I thought that was his job well we got to take a break <laughs> you're the interim supervisor all right all right And just like that, we got everything done inside. I pumped Leo 8, we had some snacks. And most of this one side of the roof is fully taped. They're just about to finish putting the last sheet on. So far, so good. Days like today make me basically want to be anywhere but here. Watching Trent high up on the roof is just not my thing. I would love to be traveling in the van, feet firmly planted on the ground. And if you would like to be traveling in a van but you don't have a van, Omaze is actually giving you the opportunity to do just that. Today's video is sponsored by Omaze and they're giving you the opportunity to enter for a chance to win a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter van with an $80,000 customized build from Vansmith. The van has seating and sleeping for two, a full solar power system, max air roof fan, isotherm fridge, a fresh water system, plus the winner's choice of exterior upgrades, including a rear bike rack or storage box. Enter for your chance to win and support a great cause, the Justin J. Watt Foundation. So far, Omaze has raised over $27 million for charity, with 131 nonprofits supported and over 6,000 Omaze winners. If you'd like to enter for a chance to win your very own Mercedes-Benz Sprinter van with $80,000 worth of customization in it, click our link in the description below or go to omaze.com slash TNA. Thanks again to Omaze for sponsoring today's video. Now I'm going to get back to watching these guys be very safe up here on the roof. Everything worked out and is taped and nailed in place, but now Trent's uh, hole, his opening on the roof, is covered up by the last sheet. So I have absolutely no idea how he is going to get down. <laughs> I'm just gonna repel. Do you have enough rope? I hope I have enough rope. Great. Pretty sure I do. So pretty much the entire time that I've been up here, I've been relying on my, my feet and like standing. And I've like weighted the rope a handful of times, but I haven't been like hanging on it and yanking on it and like really giving it the full test. And basically right here at the peak of the roof, I'm gonna have to give it the full test. I'm not excited about it. Really I wouldn't be that concerned except for 
This rope is like an old retired rope that a friend gave us. It's retired because he doesn't trust it anymore. <laughs> so this is my perspective. How's it look? It's scary. Get down. All right, I'm gonna put you guys in my pocket or something. Ooh. Jeez Louise! Not ideal. Good job. How was it really? Too hard on the ankles. The ankles? Yeah. Mm. A lot of standing like that. Let me see. Not ideal. Really could use a nice cold beverage. Come up to the deck and I'll get some fruit and cold beverages for everybody. Snack mom. The weakest charcuterie board but better than nothing. Oh, oh nice midday snack to me. Yeah. Absolutely. A little midday snack, you know. Snack time was much needed for everybody. And now I think we're gonna just carry on because it hasn't started to rain. There's some clouds, but it's a pretty blue sky overall. So we're gonna switch the car or the truck to the other side of the roof. <sighs> and basically, you know, rinse and repeat, taping the other side. You would think that it gets easier after having done this with Trent for like five years, where he always wants to do these crazy projects that are super high consequence and the end results are great, but it's just a lot of risk to get to that end result. And the answer is you don't ever get used to it. I'm just like scared watching him all the time. Uh, but every single time he continues to impress me with his skill, his eye for detail and safety, and the way that he's able to just power through, even if there are things that scare him a little bit, he makes, he finds a way. And today, uh, I don't even know if this is scary for him or just scary for me, but he is definitely finding a way and making it happen. Right on the edge. Whoa. Truck's too wide. So we're using a 4Runner? Yeah. Okay. Honestly, this side of the roof should be easier in every single way, except for, of course, as I said the words and went outside, there were blue skies. It is now starting to rain. Hopefully this just kind of, you know, passes through and doesn't do any more than a drizzle. Time has been so hard on us, my friend. Sun goes down, but we get back again. Trouble is a silly thing, it always ends up breaking. Instead of a framing bag, you just have a rope, a rope bag. Rope bag? Mm-hmm. Bag ropes? Yep. <laughs> Everything on the Forerunner is solid? I think so. You can go double check it if you want. Okay, double check your harness. That's pretty good. Yeah? Rope 
bag for the win. Rope bag for the win. And no rain. It's actually uh, super hot and super sunny. <laughs> good up there. Yep, now I got this bottom seam right here all sealed up since it doesn't overhang past the building. If I don't seal this up, all the water from the roof will just run down mm. in between the shear paneling there. Yeah. I got this side done now. I just need to do the other side. The only problem is there's like the the bog of unbearable stench <laughs> below the other one. I don't really have anywhere to put a ladder, so. So that side's just gonna leak? No, I've got to do it. I've just <laughs> Either gonna get muddy or creative, one of the two. Going back up. Yeah, I thought I was done, but I should probably just... Those clouds are definitely coming this way. I'm not gonna doubt it one bit. And uh, I just gotta do that one strip, so I may as well just get on the roof and do it from above. Worked out perfectly. That isn't destiny, I don't know what is. He just ran out of tape in the last inch of uh, finishing taping this part of the wall where it meets the roof. The rain is coming and uh, the roof is done. It's amazing. Look at this guy. Seriously, perfect timing. Do you hear that? The thunder? The thunder. Thunder. <laughs> I was bald! <laughs> Sing it. <laughs> something, something in the middle of the night. <laughs> Thunder. <laughs> as stressful as it is to be building with uh, the threat of thunderstorms all the time, I love summer thunderstorms. And I'm really excited because this is about to start downpouring any minute. We are cleaning up in anticipation of the storm and uh, we got everything accomplished that we wanted to today. So huge success, and we're about to be in for a pretty big show, it looks like. It's bright over there, but then the darkness just covers so much of the sky. It's coming from like almost a full 180 degree part of the sky, and it's moving quickly. It'll, it'll probably pour for 20 minutes and then be done, but it's coming. I swear, if this storm misses us because we're like, done, <laughs> got the roof completely taped, all the tools are put away, we're ready for the rain, it's gonna be like skirt, <laughs> and it's just gonna like shy on by and not even get us wet. But yesterday, we were not prepared, and I, I was not anticipating the rain. I was just saying. How excited I am that like we're done, everything's cleaned up, and now we can like enjoy the show. And it's like yeah. about to be a really cool thunderstorm. Uh, but it does look like it's moving quickly, so. We'll yeah. see. Also, do you guys see there our swimming pool down here? <laughs> I, uh, I was really concerned because a couple days ago, that whole spot right there was kind of like wet and saturated. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my gosh, that water line is leaking or something <laughs> underground. And it's like saturated that whole area. And it's just like, we have to dig it up. We're in big trouble. And then it rained and I noticed like all the rainwater from like this whole area just settles right there. Yeah. And uh, so I don't think it's actually out. saturated. I think it's just the low point. But what Which, we're going to do is once we build the addition right there, I'm going to do like a little like a six inch drain that goes under the driveway. Oh. So when all the rain and the snow comes off the roof, it'll go down into like a gravel bed that like drains all out. the way across the driveway, like by the trash cans, basically. Yeah, exactly. Oh, cool. So. Yeah, because I was trying to think like we're gonna we would just like reroute it into the driveway. Like I don't even know where it's supposed to go. But yeah, it would make our perfect. driveway a disaster yeah. if we didn't do that. Cool. Okay. <sighs> really wish that our permits would get approved <laughs> so we could start excavating. Like literally, we're Ooh. gonna be in trouble, man. Yeah, I know. There's no like. There's no like limping it through winter doing <laughs> concrete. Like we have to get concrete trucks up here. Yeah. And yeah. like dump trucks with gravel and road base and all the backfill and like. We're gonna do it Panamanian style. With a wheelbarrow. With the wheelbarrow. Oh <laughs> my gosh, no way. <laughs> Call up Jordan, get some yeah, tips. Yeah, we'll leave that to Jordan and Kaylee. Yeah, it would, we would. They made it work. Well, yeah, but they don't have winter, dude. Like That's they just true, have yeah. like a muddy season yeah. and then a dry season. And like, <laughs> it's not even really muddy there. It's just like rainy <laughs> I and I thought dry. that was about to be Brandon jumping out of there. Hey! It scared oh, me. Boots. You want them? Yeah, 
Yeah. That scared me. <laughs> it's like, don't jump. Just another brick in the wall. <laughs> the roof sheathing looks like bricks. I'm excited to teach Leo all about Pink Floyd and ACDC. Most important education. Is he awake? Oh. Hey. Hi. Oh. Hello. Did you have a nap? It's Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Hi. Oh. It's coming right now, Leo. Come on, Frank, inside. All right, drive safe, be careful. Always. Have a good weekend. You too. Thank you. Did you hear it? It's coming. <sighs> All right, maybe it's not going to miss us. It does look like it's kind of going to miss us still. But I don't know. We'll get a little bit of a little bit of rain just to test out the roof. Make sure everything stays dry inside. Oh, it smells so good. <sighs> it just always smells like the mountains up here. It's nice. Well, it's safe to say I don't have to tell the dogs not to go outside because they're not even trying to go outside. It is dumping. I am getting to the age in my life where I'm like, you know, when it rains really hard like this, I'm like, this is good. <laughs> we needed this. We need rain. It definitely shows your age. <sighs> it just, it makes me feel like a, makes me feel like an old farmer, but like <laughs> nothing could be more true. It's been really dry. We haven't had a lot of rain for the past couple months and now it's raining every day and it's everything nice. is like nice and green and saturated and this it's... is normally the, the worst part of fire season so yeah. this is really good and honestly like knock on wood we have not had any <laughs> real oh. oh it was me i was knock. knocking on the wood it was me hey, hey it was me hey yeah. lika no yeah. it was me i knocked on the wood that's what happens when you have dogs anyway Everything is like saturated. We haven't had any like major fires this year. Yeah. And now that everything is like getting a lot of water, the leaves are gonna be beautiful this fall. That's which right. I'm really excited about. So yeah. anyway, uh, I'm our, ready for winter. our giant mud puddle pool down there is growing. It looks like the roof is holding up. I haven't gone out there to check, but I'm sure the garage is dry. Nice. We did a good job. You did a great job. Yeah, well, it was okay. I'm just glad we got all the roof panels put on. We got all the tape put on. Everything is looking up. It was a good day. It was a seriously good day. We are going to wind down and enjoy this thunderstorm and just uh, be so grateful. If you guys enjoyed coming along on this adventure with us today, make sure you guys show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks guys, we love you. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. Life's came so 